Okay, so I've started up Photopea or Photop, however you pronounce that. And I've gone and done a Google image search here for Ryan Gosling. I just watched a movie with him in it and uh, thought, oh, I'll use his image as my next project with my Media 9. So I've done a couple things. I've gone to Google Images. I've changed it here to be large. And I've also labeled it for non-commercial reuse with modification so that I can find a nice image of him that's large. And I'm going to choose this one because it's kind of straight on and it's a great image of him. So if I choose it and click on that image, it opens up and it's in Wikimedia Commons. I'm going to click on it again so that I actually am in the image file now. And you'll notice up here it now says JPEG. And the important thing is because I'm going to take that and that is a link. I'm going to copy that. Control C. I'm going to go back over to my photo P or photo Pia, however you pronounce. And I'm going to say file open from a URL and paste that in there into a new project. And okay, Ryan Gosling is now open up in my photo P. I'm going to close these other two tabs just because I want my computer to stay as uh, good as it gets. Okay, so next step, duplicate your background. You can drag that to the new layer button or you can right click on it and say duplicate. And I'm also going to just zoom out a little bit so I can see my whole image here. You can do that with your zoom, which is right here, or you can use your alt mouse wheel in order to do that. I'm going to add some guides onto this layer. So under view, and I'm going to add guides and change it here. So it says percent, add a horizontal guide at 33% and a vertical guide at 33% and say, okay. And so you can see we're dividing it into thirds and let's add another one view add guides and this time let's make it for 66 percent and 66 percent oh why is it not adding more guides i want more in there let me figure that out you guys i'll pause okay i figured out how we can get more than one guide at once so go here to the view and say rulers then we're going to add a guide in by clicking uh, on, use a right click on your top. Make sure your mouse is sitting somewhere in your ruler and change it to say percent. And now we can add a guide to the 33% mark. If you click the left ruler and drag and bring it over until you are at the 33% mark. Now, if you're close, that's good enough. We want it to be you know, as close as we can, but I know mine is really hard to get close. And so you want to divide it into three columns. We're going to do the th same thing. You need a guide at 33%. I have one already set. And so I'm going to set one now for 66% uh, down here, kind of close enough. Okay. So it's divided into nine sections. This would be a good time to save your file. So go and say file and save it as a PSD. I'm going to call mine this time Ryan 1 because this is my first version of Ryan 1. So if I go into my documents, I'm saving into my video demos folder and I'm calling this Ryan 1. Save. That way if something goes wrong, I can get back. Okay, so this next part now is going to be quite fun. I want you to uh, go up into your rectangular marquee tool. And so make sure you're on your rectangle select. And it should snap. I want you to draw a box until it snaps in to that guide. And it should snap to both of them so that you've got your marching ants around those two pieces. And now we're going to go and do a filter. And so in the filter for this first one, uh, let's go into the uh, oil paint. Okay, so we'll go to stylize and we will say oil paint. And in the oil paint, move it across so that you can see it. We're going to just do some fun stuff in here. So you can turn your radius up a little bit and you can turn your scale up. See how we can make it look like it's 
got some oil paint. I'm going to go to some bristle detail. I'm going to give it some shine and make it kind of funky. So there, it now looks like an oil paint in that section and say, okay. And now take that rectangular marquee tool. And this time we're going to select from the inside of this piece. And again, it will snap. You should feel it snapping. Now, if it's not snapping, you probably have through one of these sections. Let me find it. I bet it's under view. Your snap needs to be turned on. Okay. And the snap to guides needs to be turned on. So if it's not snapping with your mouse, make sure those two things are turned on. All right, so I'm gonna draw this piece of it here. I'm gonna snap it in there and we're gonna do a different filter this time. So I'm gonna to go to filter and I'll show you this time the filter gallery. So the filter gallery has got these different ones here that you can choose, paint daubs, spatter, sprayed strokes, half tone, stained glass, etc. I'm gonna leave it on glowing edges. That's what came up as my default. Now it looks like it's gonna do a glowing edge for the whole piece, but remember we are only selected into this kind of area through here. So this is the only section that it will actually apply to because I don't have my whole image selected. I have just the uh, marching ants or the marquee around that piece of the rectangle. So I can take my glowing edges and I can change my settings on them. Well, maybe I can't change my settings on them. Hmm. Now, why is that not working? I wonder if you guys have this much trouble too. Can I change a number? No. Okay, I'll just say glowing edges and say okay. I think for me it has jammed. Oh, it's finally catching up. Oh my gosh. All right, it's caught up. Next piece, drag across and make it snap. And we're going to go into a filter again. I think I'm going to not go into that one. Maybe I'll go into a, uh, which one? How about mosaic tiles? I'm going to try that one. It's under. And we'll just go cell size and I'll pixelate it up a little bit. And do another one. Actually, now's a good time to save again. I've done three of them. File, save as a PSD. And I'm going to call it Ryan 2 this time. Continue going through and make some filters. You can decide which ones you want to use and uh, make it kind of funky. So you can see I've done some stained glass and I've done some blurring and I've done some spatter on my three. Make sure you save every time you do one or two in case it jams on you. That was a color half tone that I just did in the bottom left that was crystallized that I just did in the center. So that is right here through pixelate. And I think for my last one, I'm gonna try this mezzotint and see what it is. So let's see, I gotta go back to my rectangular marquee and I need to grab it here and I'll go to filter, pixelate. I'm gonna try this mezzotint and see what it does. Oh yeah, it's kind of fun. Fine dots, medium grainy coarse, oh, maybe lines. Oh, that's kind of cool. And okay.
there, my picture of Ryan Gosling is done. So I'm going to save it now. PSD. I'm going to save this out. It's my uh, Ryan 3. So I saved mine after each three that I did. So I have three versions. If you have more, that's completely fine. And now I'm going to save it out as my JPEG to be able to put onto my website. So file, export as a JPEG. And you can see that it's quite large. So for my quality of high, as high as it would go, that would be quite a big file. Doesn't want me to go that. I'm going to change it smaller. So depending on what you've got for the number of pixels in yours, uh, normally when we save it out, we want it to be a little bit lower quality to be able to fit onto our website. So go ahead and change these numbers down if you want. Uh, you want your one of your numbers to be maybe around a thousand. Uh, the main thing to look at is down here, how big is the file going to be? And normally, remember, we want to be about the 200 kilobyte mark. So for me, I would either change these numbers, one of these numbers to make it a little bit smaller, or I would change my quality down a little bit and just keep watching that number down there to be at about the 200 mark. So if I just go down in my quality, close enough. So for me, 25% gets me down around that 229 mark. I could always make this just a little bit smaller. So if I were to go 1,000 pixels, it'll automatically change the other one as uh, to keep them so that they, uh, the transformation is the same on both edges to keep it nice and uh, I guess the same size. I can't think of the word I'm trying to think of here. And I'm way down now. I could probably even put my quality a little bit higher and go ahead and save it. And remember, this is your JPEG image now that you're going to save. So I'm going to call this Ryan Final to hand in. And you can go ahead and put that onto your Photoshop page in your website. And then remember, publish your website, please, so that I can see it. Give me a little description about how you use some filters in order to create your photo. You can use whoever you want to in this assignment.